Can this be true? It will happen soon. I saw Melia. She was fighting a battle against a Mekon with a strange group of arms. Yes. That sword, could it be the... Could it possibly? And that location, was it... The vision is a sign. By your will, it can be changed. Hmm. For now, we must consider all things. Everything. The capital. And the lives of our people depend on it. Wow! Take a look at that! A high end to your air show! Bird people fly higher than not on birds! <laughs> They've got some neat tricks. Shook, I think that's Melia up there. By the authority of our divine ancestors, I, Melia Antiqua, am honored to accept the responsibility of becoming your next benevolent ruler. Should I be deemed unworthy of this calling, or fail to protect the ancestors or the Bionis, I promise here and now to throw myself on the mercy of you, the people. Most majestic. That fragile girl in the forest is a distant memory. But which one is the real Melia? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. No, it's not like that. They're one and the same girl. I think. And what did you see, Alvis? Oh, it's you. Don't play games. No need to be angry. I only wanted to analyze the boy. Which was the point, no? Hmm. I did not interfere with your ministerial affairs. In fact, you should be thanking me. I wonder if he feels the same. We have all the information we need. We know that such a Telethia cannot hurt them. You see? Nothing can befall him before he sees his dream fulfilled. Grand spanking you! Nothing like an ether change and a new paint job. <laughs> we don't need her. Look at me. Look at me, goody two-shoes. Let's just see if you hold back the screams when his blade gets a taste of you. I love a warm welcome. Let's settle this machine to machine. So they've got a new crown princess. Three cheers for Melia. Right, but we're still no closer to that murdering faced Mechon. Once we reach Prison Island, we'll get our chance. I've seen us there. It must be true. Shulk, man. Maybe we can still persuade Big Wings. Melia's crown princess now. I reckon the Emperor might change his mind. Maybe. Rhine, the Emperor's request was clear. Give him time. 
There's more to this island than we know. Things are at play here that reach beyond our understanding. Dundon right. Ricky and friends visit Melly now. Hey, the adults are talking, Pops. Ricky want to see Melly. Ricky think Melly's sad too. She might like the distraction. All those stiff ceremonial duties. You decide, Shulk. Ricky say yes! You came to see me. Ricky's friend, Melly! Oh, Melly look amazing before. Oh, Ricky's so proud. Really? It all happened so fast. What a stunning garden. The arrangements, the fountain. When the colony is up and running, can I steal some ideas? My late mother adored this place. Late, Mother. But I thought your mum was... Her Highness, the First Consort, is not my birth mother. Members of the Imperial family must take two wives. One Homs, one High Entia. My mother is the Second Consort. I am half Homs, half High Entia. Melia. Melia live here? Yes, Ricky. Since I was young. I cannot walk outside as you see me now. So this garden gives me much relief. What's wrong with how you look? Who cares if you're half arms? You'll always be you. Their way of thinking differs from ours. Different ways. Different morals. So that's why you wear a mask in public? Yes. Shulk, in less than an hour there will be a banquet in the palace. I would like you all to come. Oh, Ricky's so hungry, he could even eat smelly oruga. <laughs> There'll be plenty to eat. Finally, some decent grub. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. What's on the menu? Any high end your specials? Do not embarrass me at this dinner. Expectations lead to disappointment. We are talking about Ryan here. What? That's the last time I sit next to you, then. <laughs> I have much to prepare. I will have someone call for you later. We can't wait. Is there something wrong? No. You are a funny one. Ah! Emperor! It can't be. Shulk! It's the Emperor. Father! Another vision! Shulk, 
What did you see? On that tower. On Prison Island. <gasps> what does the siren mean? Mekon! They're coming! <gasps> Report! Yes, sire. We received a report from our south station. Macon are approaching. Impossible! Kellyan, your sister's time has come. Your Majesty. There is only one course of action left. We will not waver from our destinies. Father! Kallion, take charge of the capital's defenses. I will go to Prison Island. Tell me, what happens to my father? He... It follows my last vision. We're on Prison Island. Metal Face and your father are... Prison Island? Why would father go there? No! I must go to the palace. I must stop him. I will go to the audience chamber. Wait, Melia. We're coming too. Thank you. 
Father! Where is Father? Melia. The Imperial Staff, it's... So Father has gone. I... Callian! The Emperor has proceeded to the island, alone. For the sake of the Empire. Why did you let him go alone? Father! His Majesty is fully aware. Alvis. Of what will happen to him, and what he must do before then. You saw something. I did. During our ancient divination ritual. If he knows, then why? Because he is the ruler of the Imperial family and all the High Entia. We must respect his decision above all else. But that doesn't mean... Trust him, Shulk. His fate was decided long ago. No! Shulk, we're going. But Dunban... Respect? Destiny? We don't need rules to tell us when to save the people we care for. You too, Melia. Don't give up on him. The Emperor, your father, is going to die. Dumban! There's only one thing to do. Are you with me? Of course. But you can't. We are Homs. Do what you must. But your laws don't concern us. My apologies, Dunban. No apologies needed. So, Melia, what's it to be? We go to Prison Island. Me. Yes. <laughs> 
fly infestation is beginning to bug me! <laughs> Unmanned craft built by ancient High Entia. Is it too much to hope this is the last of them? Ginormous things at 12 o'clock! Ancient creatures that were sealed within Prison Island. They have us in their sights. They must be our target's pets. Perhaps. Let's see how they like this. Prison Island is just ahead. Do we need to use the transporter? We do. But first, we must unlock the seals. Seals? We need to unlock two seals to reach Prison Island. Then, a door will appear before us, showing the way. Got it. Move, everyone. Me.
Summon Aqua! Oh no! Summon Earth! Raging Squall! Manifest yourself! The ether is flowing through me! Manifest yourself! Roaring Thunder! Manifest yourself! Poison Earth! Summon Aqua! Now! Healing Aqua! Summon Copy! Summon Wind! Razor Wind! Roaring Thunder! Vertical Fire! I feel the ether building within me! Manifest yourself! Now I see there is strength in unity! I'm glad you're with us, Melia! Summon Burst! Manifest yourself! Raging Squall! Manifest yourself! To Easter, we are victorious! Piece of cake! Ricky like fighting easy monsters! Mechon! And something we've never seen before! Big fish coming! Blind 
special move, Swoosh Touch! Ricky, I'd expect no less from you. Hit upon very cool! Summon Wind! Manifest yourself! Summon Flare! Manifest yourself! Let's succumb to the power of Earth! Getting serious time! Manifest yourself! The ether is flowing through me! Do it! This'll leave a mark! Shake your ass! Ricky, Ricky, summon! Ricky, Ricky, keep it up! Can anyone explain what this thing is? I believe it is one of the oldest creatures on Bionis. I have only seen them as fossils, discovered around the capital, to find that they were trapped on Prison Island. Was it protecting the island? That would imply it's sentient. I believe it's responding to something primitive. Primitive? It doesn't care who or what we are. Its instinct was to defend against anything, but we'll never really know. We're losing time here. We still haven't reached the island. Ricky, go to island! <laughs> Take so much. The capital's defenses are sure to fall. Forefathers, grant me your wisdom. Iluna Meluruka Taxis. Duko Aruke Aruke Hato. A giant. So this is what was sealed away. How long has it been, Emperor? This is our first encounter. It is not you that I speak to, but your blood. The blood that shackled me. I see. Then I assume I do not need to tell you the reason I am here. There is no need. I already know why you have come. Hmm. Use it. That is the reason I am here, after all.
Whoa! Big door. Whatever needed this door was massive. <gasps> Dino Beast! Hmm. It's just a statue. Don't freak us out like that, Ricky. Is this a person? I can't make it out. This may very well be the appearance of my forefathers. The legends tell that they differed greatly to how we look now. And this is what they looked like. Wait a minute. I've seen this thing somewhere before. Oh, Dino Beast, Dino Beast! You might be right. It reminds me of the Telethia as well. Did your ancestors build this island? No. The stories tell of this place existing long before my people. No one knows for sure. But we think our forefathers are the ones who sealed it. I wonder what's hidden inside. Well, we'll know soon enough, I suppose. There. An engraving by the forefathers. I've seen this engraving around the capital. Many researchers have tried and failed to discover its meaning. Hey, Shulk. That symbol. Yeah. It's similar to the Monado symbols. There must be a connection. Connection? The sealed door of Prison Island. It is said only a true successor to the throne can open it. Then the Emperor must be inside. I believe so. Forefathers! I, your descendant, Melia Antiqua, stand before you. For the sake of our world, release the seal! Like at the tomb. What's it doing? Aren't we going to help? Please, do not worry. It is necessary. Oh. Heir to the Monado. Let the shackles be released! What is it, Shulk? Get a move on. You saw it, right? Us bashing that tin man's head in? Hold on a second. Ah, oh, here we go. I knew you'd start overthinking. There's not much time, Shulk. We've got to go now. Sharla's right. We'll miss our chance to take that murdering mech on down. And save Melia's father too. I... Okay.
We must be outside the tower. Are we here? <clears throat> this is it. This is the place I saw. He's one of the giants, said to have become extinct eons ago. This is what our forefathers locked away. I am Zanza, and I have waited centuries for you. You waited for him? But I thought our forefathers imprisoned you here. I forged the Monado. It is molded from me. All who wield the sword are made known to me. You made the Monado? Yes. I made it millennia ago to oppose Mekonis. But... why are you imprisoned? The Monado controls the principle upon which life is based. The source of your existence. 
ether. Master the principle of life, and all things will bow to you. Your power would be infinite. As you now know, the sword gives the wielder the power of foresight. And I myself once used that sword against the Maconis and defeated it. You're telling us you beat the Maconis with that tiny thing? <laughs> Its appearance is merely an illusion. Its form morphs to conform to the will of its master. The power comes from within. <sighs> but its power was feared by some. That is why the High Entia imprisoned me here long ago. That can't be true. Our forefathers would have had better reason. You are what you are. Do you not believe your own eyes? Open your mind, new ruler of the High Entia. The Monado is the blade of the Bionis, the only force that can oppose the Maconis. As the wielder grows, so too does his ability to control all things. Yet there is still power trapped in the sword. The Monado is in shackles. Shackles? It is suppressed. You mean... Yes, it was this constraint that gave rise to faced Mekon. Mekon which cannot be destroyed by the Monado. Shackles. They must be the reason the Monado can't hurt people as well. Does that have something to do with the faced Mekon? You must find that out by yourself. I will remove those shackles for you. But you must take the Monado and free me from this prison. Free me, and the Monado will cut down anything you wish. Nothing but a god can stand in your way. Don't do it, Shulk. But Melia, why? Something's not right. The Forefathers must have had good reason to seal him. I need that power. I thought you of all people would understand. I do, but... it's just... Hold on a minute. He only said he'd release this new power. Sounds like a good idea to me. But... Melia, please understand. I must do what I set out to. The Mekon must pay. Young Shulk, I will not force you. I ask for nothing in return. It is your choice. I will. Air 
badger the Monado. Your will shall be done. Let the shackles be released! This party's over! Ah. Oh. No! Sansa! Oh. Ah. It's him! Metal Face! Sorry we're late to the party. What do you think of our leader's gift? How did you know we'd be here? What's that? The poor insects are a little confused. We're here for the old fool. <laughs> if he's dead, he can't power up the Monado. You being here is just an added bonus. Ah! A silver-faced Mekon! Zanza? Respond, Zanza. I know you can hear me. I sense thought waves. Zanza, how many more will you sacrifice? Who are you to talk to me? How dare you? You know nothing. I am here to talk, Zanza. Ah! You will pay for what you've done! Please wait. I mean you no harm. Give us back Fiora! Give her back! Yeah! I told you to stay out of the way! Boy! Choke! Weak, weak and pathetic! Stupid buck! Melia! Look at you! Worthless without the Monado! Isn't that right, Dunban? What? Or who are you? How do you know me? Let's see if this jogs your memory! He moves like... But that's impossible! Cease immediately. They are not our target. <gasps> Any final words? Die! <laughs> Who dares? Stop at once! Mechon! Emperor! Are you hurt, Melia? No, Father. You're gonna pay for that, you bag of bones! <gasps> Melia! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's had his wings clipped. Did you really expect to beat me? Emperor... I... failed you. Heir to the Monado. Huh? Sansa! You're alive! Give me the power I need! I am now a mere shell. The power 
is already yours. What? The shackles have been broken. Wield the sword, it bends to your will. Think of your enemy, and the power to defeat them is yours! Zanza! Mekon! It's not over! The people of Bionis will never let you triumph! It's changing form! Be careful! We cannot withstand such power! Shoot! Outside the pre established harmony. Is that. a haunt? No way. Fe Fiora. You have not changed at all. That is clear. But still, I cannot... Do as you please. Fiora! Wait! My mission is complete. Returning to base.
<sighs> you were lucky this time, dumb man. But next time, I'll slice you in two. Fiora! It's me, Shulk! Fiora! We were too late. Again. I saw it. I knew it would happen. Shulk. Why? Why did this have to happen? <laughs> Father. Melia, the hope of our people. You must not cry. Don't say that. I don't care how improper it is. Let me cry. Melia. Why does it have to be me? If all it takes is to be half Homs. Is that what you think? You are very much mistaken. <laughs> but... To become the hope of the High Entia is a fate that you choose for yourself. As long as you remember this, it is certain that you will be worthy of that name. But remember this also. It is not because you are the hope of the High Entia that I love you. It is because... I love you, but I wish for you to become that hope. <laughs> Heir to the Monado, I leave the sword in your hands. The sword that my forefathers sealed away, with it you can succeed. Your Majesty. Uh, Melia... Uh, Cry for as long as you must, but when, when your tears are dry... Father! No! Melia, come with me. Shulk, I... You'll have plenty of time to think about your empire and your people's hopes. If you need me, I will be at your side. But you are an individual. You are Melia Antiqua. And you can't let them get away with this. You're right. My foremost concern is making them pay. Well played indeed. Zanza. <laughs> I do what is necessary for the world. I could very easily have stood in for you. Your sentiment is appreciated. Mm. I see a storm on the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> 